disappear and never turn up again, they go to a mysterious kingdom at the bottom of the sea. <laughs> My brother Billy and I discovered this wondrous kingdom after we made friends with Red Lantern, the wise talking fish. Every week, he took us to a new part of the land of the lost. We travel down together on the swift ocean current, pass through the magic curtain that guards the entrance, and there we'd be. One day, we no sooner stepped off the current than Red Lantern said, Galloping guppies, Billy. I've got a letter here I forgot to give you. From me? Well, who do you suppose would be writing me down here? Well, Kipper, my flippers, Billy. Open it and find out. What does it say, Billy? Hmm. Dear Billy, just heard that you have been visiting the land of the lost. How about coming over my way this week? I'll be waiting at the Fork Roads. Your old friend, Jack. Jack. Who is your old friend, Billy? Search me. I don't even know anybody by that name. And I never heard of the Fork Road. Well, come along. I'll take you there right now. Anchors away. See tadpoles? Just ahead. We're coming to the great table land. Table land? Oh, yeah. out a long way. And look, isn't that a river over toward the right? Yep, that's Spoon River. We've got to cross it to get where we're going. Spoon River. <laughs> what a funny... <laughs> Not me, Paddle. Holy smokes. It's a big soup spoon walking around by himself. Yes. This part of the tableland is inhabited by lost spoons. Huh? How do you do, sir? I'm Red Lantern from King Findall's Court, and here are Isabel and Billy. It's a measure to please you, I'm sure. What does he mean? A pleasure to meet you, of course. Just a spoonerism. Spoonerism? What's that? An old spoonish custom, my friend. We are apt to tryst our words a trifle. Ahem, uh, we're on our way to the fork roads, Mr. Soup Spoon. Well, I'll be glad to row you to the shiver. Uh, show us to the river? Well, that's very kind of you. Uh, suppose I go ahead with the little lady. Uh this way? Let me walk on the other side, Isabel. The spoon should always be on the right, you know. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. Hey, look, a whole bunch of silverware. Gosh, I never knew so many kinds of spoons. Oh, yes, everything from soup to sherbets, my boy. Isn't that right, mate? <laughs> Well, how about giving these friends of mine the spoon song? Okay, Soupy, here goes. Who likes coffee? Who likes tea? E-I-E-I-O. When they serve it hot, just call on me. E-I-E-I-O. Where's a sip, 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 sip? Here is there a sip, sip. How is that for a chorus of silvery voices? Oh, it was awfully nice. Hold on there, everyone. Who's that, Soupy? The tall chap coming this way. That's uh, Salahad the Gallad Spoon. <laughs> Salad Spoon. Looks like the Sterling character. Oh, he is. He's dippy about the Lavinia Ladle. Oh, is that so? He thinks she has the most beautiful 
<laughs> Hallmark in Spoon River. Really? Yeah. The two of them are always killing and booing. Uh, 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 pardon me. Uh, uh, billing and uh, cooing. Uh, 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 what's your hurry, Sarah? Something. Something terrible has happened. What oh, is my. it? Spill it, Sarah. Lavinia has disappeared. Oh, my Lavinia goodness. Lavinia Nadal? Gone? Vanished. I, I took her home myself after dinner last night, but she hasn't been seen since. You fellas have got to help me look for her. Oh, of course, Sarah. Sure thing. Let's get organized. I knew I could count on you. Dan Dipper, uh, take a couple of the boys out to the punch bowl and work around the edge. Oh, hey. Soupy, you're the best man to tackle the big terrine. Yes. She, she might have gone skimming there. Oh, no, no. I'll lead a posse of volunteers through the Holland Days Tunnel. It's dangerous, We're but... We're with you, Sarah Hare. We spoons can't take if there's no doubt. Yes, Sorry to leave you, Red Lantern, but you're near the river now. Goodbye, Soupy. Goodbye. And uh, don't forget to mind your table manners. Oh, mercy, that salad spoon certainly stirred things up. I'll say. Uh-oh, hurry up, Pollywogs. Sounds like a boat whistle. Gosh, so this is Spoon River. Sure is a muddy-looking stream. Why, it's brown as, as gravy. Just what it's made of, Billy. Real gravy? Uh-huh. My goodness alive. <laughs> and, Billy, the boat is a gravy boat. Oh, well, what do you know? Oh, 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 Come on, kids. Jeez, I never saw a lady boat captain before. I'm the only one down here, sonny. Lazy Susan, they call me, on account of them always turning round and coming back right where I started from. Well, all set, then let's go. Oh, we're moving. Yep. Only takes a minute or two to get across if you don't hit a lump. You sure handle the boat nicely, Susan. Must be hard to steer through that gravy. Oh, I'm a killer diller at the tiller. <laughs> <laughs> but say, what was all the excitement back in school? Uh, the population has just gone out to search for a young lady who has disappeared. A lady? Wouldn't be Lavinia now, would it? Why, yes, that was her name. They've all gone the wrong way, then. I took Lavinia across Spoon River myself late last night. Oh? It's my private opinion she eloped with that gay young Tunian folk who met her on the other side. Uh-oh. If the Great Horn Spoon knew about it, there'd be trouble, too. The Great Horn Spoon? Who's that? He rules over the whole tableland, Isabel. And he's been very strict about elopements ever since the dish ran away with the spoon. If you ask me, Lavinia's in for trouble anyhow. I don't think that tuning fork rings true. How's that? Well, then shouldn't we let Salahad know about it? Maybe you're right, sir. I'll get word to him on my return trip. We're pulling in now. And a very pleasant crossing, Susan. Come on, Tadpoles. Thanks for the ride, Susan. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> well, Billy, in a minute you'll discover who that old friend of yours is. The one who wrote you the letter. I sure hope he's on hand. Oh, I see a sign ahead. Yes, it says the fork rose. And somebody's standing underneath it. Hey, Billy! Don't you recognize me? Jiminy <laughs> Christmas, of course I do. It's my old jackknife. Put her there, brother. Oh, boy, am I glad to see you. Same here. 
<laughs> you and Isabel both. Oh, and this is our friend Red Lantern, Jack. Glad to know you, Jack. Hiya. I can see right now you'd never be dull company. Well, thanks. But I'm afraid I'm not sharp enough for the rest of the crowd down here. Well, what do you mean, fella? Well, let's get along toward Whetstone Castle and I'll tell you. Whetstone Castle? What's that? You can see it just ahead. It's where the knives of the square table live. Gosh, I never heard of that outfit. Why, they're the most important blades in knifedom, Billy. Sir Inkton Penknife, Sir Keen Carver, and a number of others. That's right. Why, Jack Knight, how exciting to think of you living in that big castle with all... Oh, but I don't live there, Isabel. That's just the trouble. They won't let me join the square table. Why not? Well, it's this way. You have to prove your mettle before you're considered worthy. And they claim I'm still young and untried. Untried? That's a lot of baloney. Why, I could tell them plenty you did for me. Oh, gosh, Billy. Would you? Oh, that's what I've been hoping. You bet your corkscrew. Well, you see, there's a meeting at the castle right now. And if I could bring someone to testify for me there, I might still have a chance. Oh, I'd rather be a knife of the square table than anything in the world. Oh, of course we'll help you, Jack. But how do you get into the castle? Well, we knives take a shortcut through the side door. You mean down this narrow passage? That's right. Leads into the great hall where the square table is. Hear that? The knives are in there now. Just follow me. I'll open the door gently. Mercy, look at them all drawn up and gleaming. Oh, God, knife of the table square, comrades of stain the field, quite without reproach, every blade on the blade through the The bread is stale. What if the meat is tough? Obstacles aren't enough when we start getting rough. For we're not knives of a table square. Nothing can blunt our zeal. Test us if you must. We will trust. You can trust. Stay the steel. Attention, Sir Knives. Answer to the roll call. Fish to the Columbus. That's the great horn spoon himself, Tadpole. I didn't expect him to be here. Sir Keen Carver. Present, my lord. Sir Inkton Penknife. Present. Sir Inkton's little, but oh my. Sir Slicewell Cake Cutter. Uh, here. A crusty bread knife. Uh, yeah. He's a loafer, if you ask me. Brush those crumbs off your chin, Sir Crusty. I'm surprised at you. Uh, sorry, sorry, my lord. <coughs> Sir Payman. Don't think about it. Help me sneeze. Oh, Billy. Uh, 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 <coughs> upon my blade, who was that? Me, sir. And, oh, boy, well, by all the chisels, how did you get in here? Um, I, I brought him, Sir Keen. Eh, it's that persistent young jackknife again. Ha! How dare you interrupt the meeting? Because you told me, sir, that if I could get someone to testify for me, I might be el um, eligible to join the square table. Oh, <laughs> yeah. well, uh, well, we've, we've no time today. Uh, 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 since you gave your word, Sakin, and the applicant has produced his witness, he should be heard. Uh, yes, but, uh, but uh, how do we know the witness is trustworthy, my Lord Hornspoon? I'll vouch for that, gentlemen. Well, who are you? Why, it's Red Lantern, the guiding light to the land of the lost. You are acquainted with this boy, Red Lantern? I am, sir. Billy is Jackknife's former owner and knows all about him. Oh, that's all. Very well. 
What can you say on behalf of your old comrade, my lad? Well, sir, Jack could carve any kind of wood, and he just couldn't miss it, Mumbly Peg. Mumbly Peg? Ha! A game for idlers and children. I told you this, Jack was nothing but a village cut-up. <laughs> Order! Minor accomplishments like games and whittling do not count here, Billy. Uh-oh. Every blade at this table has deeds of high renown and achievement to his credit. Sir Inkton Penknife served a famous writer for 20 years and never broke a pencil point. My goodness. Sir Keen once cut through a wire that was choking a helpless animal. <laughs> the merry line of duty. And those nicks on Sir Slicewell Cake Cutter's blade came from many a valiant struggle in the home of a bride who was learning to cook. I still get a pain in the nick. On baking day. What can you tell us about Jack Knife that compares with such exploits as these? Well, there was a time when my dad forgot his door key and Jack pried open the window. <laughs> no risk involved there. And he was always very nice about odd jobs around the house. Commendable, but hardly valiant. Well, well, maybe he never had a chance at anything really big. But as long as I had him, he did everything I wanted him to and did it well. I don't see what more anyone could ask. Bravo, Billy. Yes, it's a good start, I grant you. But it's not enough. Quite so. Come back again two or three years from now, Jack, when you're a little older. Perhaps you'll have carved out more of a career by then. Yes, sir. Gosh, Jack, I'm awful sorry. Oh, it's all right, Billy. You did your best. Thanks, sir. Well, 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 enter, enter, enter. What does this outcry mean? Bless my scales, it's a pair of butter knives. The lost food. And then we were out of breath. We've run all the way from... Sugarloaf Pass. Now, don't tell me another tongue uh, war has broken out. Uh, no, sir, but they've just discovered that the great silver chest is up there. <laughs> the, the chest that was stolen by highwaymen at the Fork Roads last week. Oh, uh, yes, Sir Keen, the robbers must have abandoned a damsel. Well, they were what's that, a damsel? Yes, Sir Krusty, and in dire distress. <laughs> Open the padlock that fastens the chest. Enough. It is the call to arms. Fellow knives, it is there one among you who would not risk his blade to save an imprisoned damsel? You hung to sugar There it is. Oh, there's the chest. Now, each one of us will try his metal on it. Line up. <coughs> I'll uh, go first. <coughs> oh. I, uh, I can do no more. My staunchest efforts do not even mar the surface of this accursed chest. Jiminy, poor Sartine has just about battered his edge off. Uh, I'm afraid the situation's hopeless, Billy. That chest is made of hard metal. Oh, 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 but remember the prisoner inside. We've got to get her out. Stand aside, Jackknife. No room here for any but the tried and true. Oh, shut. Gosh, her voice is getting mighty faint. Uh, it's rather padlock again, ain't it, old fellow? It's the only chance. But Inkton's bent already. You can't pick a strong lock with a pen knife. I can try once more, Sir Slicewell. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Careful, are you? He's broken his blade. Sir Inkton's hurt. Oh, send back everybody. Send back her. Leave him over here. I'm easy now. Easy. There we are. Uh, I, I did my best. Never let it be said that a knife of this square table wasn't up to scratch. Oh, my poor friend. We have all done our best, but 
we have failed. Then let me get at that chest. I'm young and strong. I'll show you. Oh, oh, will you, Jack? You're not doing oh, a bit of good. Oh, please, Jack, please. Oh, oh, I guess you're right. I'm no better than the rest. No, oh, maybe that'll teach you to stay back in the rank and file where you belong. But I was only... Wait a minute. What was that you said? The rank and file. <gasps> Thanks for the hint, Sir Krusty. Eh? Well, what's that? It's true that an ordinary knife can't dent that chest or pick the catch or cut a hole in the side. Oh. But you can saw the whole darn puddle off if you're jackknife like me with a file up your sleeve. <laughs> a file. Look out, folks. Let me get to Give him room, everybody. Give him room. And by Bessemer jackknife, if you can get that padlock off, there'll be another knife at the square table by dinner time tonight. Oh. Oh. That a boy, Jack. You're really wearing it down. Yes, it's getting thinner and thinner. Uh, look, tadpoles, look. <laughs> it's off. The padlock's off. Open the lid quickly, Billy. Okay, Red Lantern. Uh, who, who is it? Who, who's inside? Oh, it's a perfectly lovely silver dollar hat. Where are you? By the scars of Miss Cabard, tis Lavinia Ladle from across Poon River. What are you doing here, your ladle ship? <laughs> Who locked you up? That wicked tuning fork. I should never have listened to him. He turned out to be nothing but a piece of pewter. Oh, what shall I do? Galahad will never forgive me. Uh, Nonsense, Lavinia. You're still untarnished. We'd better get word to him right away, hadn't we, Red Lantern? Don't worry, Isabel. The butter knives will spread the news all over Tableland. Dear Sir King, how can I thank you and your brave men? Ah, do not thank us, your ladyship. Your rescue was due to one brave hero alone. And who is he? The youngest knife of the square table, Rise Sir Jack. You, you mean me? We need you! All right, knife of the table square, for you have met the test. You have won your crest. It's a sure thing that you're one of the best.